Hey, what's up? Sham here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to turn on any uh, devices with the touch of a button, just like this. Or, turn on your AC like this. Feel first prototype the project on a breadboard, upload the code, connect it to Blink, and then finally design a custom PCB for it. So keep watching. For this project, you'll need an ESP8266 module, I'm using ESP01, a 2-channel relay, but I just had a 4-channel so I'm using it, and you'll also need a USB to TTL converter. The ESP01 is a pretty good module, the only downside is that it's not breadboard friendly, so I decided to make an adapter for it. For that, I took a 4-pin female connector and a 4-pin male connector. I bent the 4-pin female connector 90 degrees and then soldered it to the 4-pin male connector. I did the same with another one and then super glued it together. To program the module, wire the USB to TTL converter to the ESP01 according to this diagram. I'm making a voltage divider with a 1K resistor and a 2K resistor for providing it with 3.3 volt power supply. Once you finish wiring, plug in the serial adapter to your PC. On your computer, open the Arduino sketch, link is in the description below. And then all you have to do is change the Blink authentication code and then enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password. And then click on Tools and then choose your board as Generic ESP8266 Module and then choose the correct port. And now finally upload the code. Once it's done uploading, remove the serial adapter from the ESP01. Also disconnect GPIO0 to ground. Once that's done, start to wire the two-channel relay to the ESP according to this diagram. Also, make sure to power the JDVCC of the relay with a separate power supply. Now, on your smartphone, open Blink app. If you don't know what it is, I've already went through it in my previous video. So if you haven't already, it might be helpful to watch it. Then I created a new project, named it Home Automation, and then added two buttons, one for the first relay and the other for the second. And then I assigned GPIO 0 for the first and then GPIO 1 for the second. I arranged the buttons and then clicked on the run button on the top right corner of the screen. And then I found out my device was online already. The ESP connected to Wi-Fi pretty quickly and then everything seems to work fine. To make the project more permanent and less messy, I'm going to order a PCB from JLCPCB.com. JLCPCB is the largest PCB manufacturer in China, who is the sponsor of this video. I designed the PCB using EasyEDA.com and then downloaded the Gerber file from there. Now go to JLCPCB.com and then click on Code Now. Here upload your Gerber file. Once it's uploaded, then choose your desired PCB settings and then click on Save to Cart. From here, you can click on Check Out Securely to place your order. They accept both PayPal as well as credit card. Also keep in mind there will be shipping charges which might be more than the PCB. But it's totally worth it compared to other sites. A few days later, I received the PCBs in a pretty good package. 
I unbox the PCBs and then cut open the package. The PCBs were of pretty good quality being just $2. Now I'm gonna desolder the components from the relay module. So here is the final list of things that you'll need to solder on the PCB. The link to all of this will be in the description below. And here is the final schematic for the project, link in the description. I placed the PCB on a benchwise to keep it steady. I started by soldering the SMD components. The first few components I just used a normal soldering iron. And for the rest I used solder paste and hot air soldering station. So now let's take a look at some soldering shots. So now I've finished soldering all the components, and here is how it looks. Now finally insert the ESP01. And the last and final component you'll need is a 2-pin jumper cable. This will be used to ground the GPIO0 of the ESP01 to flash the code into it. You'll just need to plug it in in the first two pins. Now I'm going to take an extension cord and then cut it to expose the inner wires. Now out of these two wires, just pick any wire and then cut it to expose the copper. Now apply some solder to those exposed copper as it makes it easier to screw it into the screw it terminal. Now insert the two wires into the first two terminals of the screw terminal. In my case, the first two are the normally open, which means that the circuit only closes when the relay is switched on. I did the same with the LED lamp wire. Now plug in the power supply, it can be anywhere between 5 volts to 12 volts, since we have the 3.3 voltage regulator. Now plug in the 5 volt power supply, the extension cord, and the LED lamp to the mains. Since the code has been already uploaded to the ESP, as soon as I turned it on, it connected to Wi-Fi and using Blink, I'm easily able to turn it on and off. So anything you plug into this outlet can be controlled with your smartphone. For example, I connected my AC to it. So that's it for this video, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to my channel and also tell me what do you think about this lamp that I made. Thanks for watching.